Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. This is the C uh, Kubernetes CSI implementation meeting. Um, so our main agenda for today is to go down our sidecar release status. Um, let's just take a look. Um, so let's see, uh, we have the Snapshotter. Uh, okay, so I think Snapshotter, we're just waiting for one PR now. Uh, I think the finalizer one uh, is on the way of getting merged. It's just the, uh, you know, the API changed version from v1 beta line to v1 that one. I pinned Xiang Qian. Um, he said he will take a look. I think he has not get a chance to yet. And then the other thing is we're actually also waiting for the, uh, the PR author to do an update because he has not addressed the comments. Uh, I don't know how critical is this one. Um, if we want to get this one cut uh, sooner, maybe we have to see this one. So okay. I'm waiting. I would maybe for... see. Let's let's see if they respond in the mm -hmm. next day or two. If if by like Friday they haven't responded, then I guess we should just cut. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. Um. Anything else with the snapshotter? I think that's it. I uh, it's just uh, that, and then I need to update the change log. I have a working progress. I just need to grab those new merged PRs. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's see. Uh, next, we have Resizer. Um, I spoke to Hamant yesterday. I think the only thing that's remaining is the change log. Um, he said he was going to work on it. So that should be really close and ready to go. Um, and then we have the health monitor. Yeah, that I already cut. I think I just need this one more step. I always forget. <laughs> is he, is he used oh, to, to promote the I images? Need, yeah, yeah, I would do that for this. and. Post this one. And I forgot Sounds about good. that step. Yeah, I'll do that today. Yeah. yeah. I wish there was a way we can automate it. <laughs> Maybe we can. Yeah, that would be nice, you know, because can't you forget that it used to be automatic? <laughs> yeah. So. We should, okay, that might be something good to investigate for the next release, see if we can automate that um, yeah. make it a little better. Okay. All right, and then um, host path driver. Yeah, we need to wait for the other two um, to be released and then I can go ahead and update those. Um, oh, and um, the CSI proxy for Windows, um, the 2.0 was uh, cut, um, but I think the actual uh, um, image building didn't work, so um, mm. I think Jing is taking a look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's basically just the automatic uh, building part does not work. Yeah. Okay. Like they they cut the tag on the repo, but the actual um, build of the image and push to the to the staging repo didn't work. Okay. All right. Um, oh, and one more thing for the no driver registrar. Um, I think there was a last minute make file change to it for Windows that broke some stuff. So um, Jing made a fix for that and I'm going to cut another patch, um, a patch release with that fix. And then I think a uh, provisioner also needs a patch release. Uh, that's a good point. I should undo these. Um, what is needed for provisioner? Also need the same thing? Uh, patch, no, Patrick has a bug fix for his feature. Oh, right, right, right. Um, so that needs to merge and then I can cut a patch release for it. So I'll okay. undo those. All right. Um, Okay, Windows, yeah, so the 2.0 was cut. 
I think the only thing remaining here is to update um, the doc our documentation page um, and add a, a section for CSI proxy. So that is ongoing. And then snapshots we talked about earlier. Um, OK, so that's all for 119. Um, is there anything else anyone wants to talk about? Uh, okay, so I have a one question. We probably talked about this before. So like on the uh, CSI docs page, right? So basically everyone just to put their own uh, driver information there, but we don't really have a way to uh, tell whether, you know, what they say the support is really there. Uh, I thought, we, did we talk about some like tests or something? Maybe we could... Um, uh, yeah, we sort, that. sort of remember. talked about it. Is that the, like a sanity? See, the sanity test could maybe do that, kind of validate. Yeah, the... we've sort of talked about a, a sort of like conformance program for drivers. I guess the main thing is like um, the the main reason why we haven't done it yet is in terms of like just what kind of benefit the ecosystem would get for it. Right. It's basically just uh, like we put something there, whether that is true or not. We we basically just trust uh, yeah. whoever update that information, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we it's, can, because yeah. like in order to actually do a conformance program, then we would need like, you know, like a whole process. Like they would, yeah. we would need a place where they can submit their results and uh -huh. then we have to validate the results. Um, is there, can we have them do it and publish somewhere else? It's more like on them. So like then user can go check it and, you know, they decide, right? They still put some, whatever they, they say this. Yeah. Then, because I was just, because I remember, so, so I know that we do this in OpenStack Cinder, right? So we have, so every time we submit a PR, I have to pass all the vendors, uh, you know, the CI. Mm. If it that did not pass, like for certain days, you know, you actually, we send out <laughs> emails. Mm. You don't pay attention, your driver will be removed, all the trees, kind of a lot of, it's a lot of work actually from yeah. outside and also, uh, for for the vendor as well, I mean, if your driver suddenly gets removed, it's such a bad for both the vendor and also the customer. So, I I just don't want us to get into that situation. It's a lot of it's high maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, but in our cases, at least we don't really. It's just docs. We don't really have. We don't host those drivers. So that's a good part. In Cinder, it's yeah, hosting those drivers. I so, see. Yeah, I yeah. think that makes a lot of sense in that case. Uh, yeah. Maybe like we can add a note to the top of the driver's page saying like, mm -hmm. you know, this information is just self-reported by each driver owner. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you, so, right. So have uh, if a user want to, they, they have to go check like this each is, vendor to verify yeah. if they're correct or not. Because it's supposed like to. this is just purely informational. Yeah, so. because it, since it's posted there, people probably thought it's all valid, you know, verified information uh -huh. kind of assumption. Yeah, probably yeah. We, should, yeah. we should at least put something there until we figure out something that is a little better. But I also don't want to add too much work on our side. Like we have to go. Yeah. <laughs> making sure. <laughs> yeah. The actual like Kubernetes conformance program is quite involved. Like there's a whole, there's a whole work group just for it. And it's yeah so i'm not sure like one i don't think we have the resources to be yeah, able to it's, like it's a start lot, a program no, like a lot, that yeah a lot of work actually <laughs> but yeah i think a disclaimer or something at okay, the top yeah, would sure, be good sure. because i got a question somebody was like hey, there's something that seems to be wrong <laughs> somebody claim something but look at yeah. code not there so yeah okay i think we could least, yeah, even let's... like we can contemplate like actually also whether or not we should remove some of the, the capabilities parts uh, in that table and just kind of say like, here are some drivers if you want to understand like more of all the specific features they support, go to their page. It's probably still ha good to have that thing for people to just like at a high level. Mm -hmm. And if they want to really use it, they have to go check the driver page to figure out how to mm -hmm. do it, whether it's really there yeah. or not, right? The main, yeah. when I review those driver update pages, the main thing I look for is, do they at least link to like a page where there's instructions for someone on how to use it? I think that's the main thing. 
Yeah, that's what I have been doing too, because verifying each feature, that's just a lot of work. Because even yeah. if they implement the function, it could be wrong, you know, it, it yes. there's no way for us to, because you could ha also have, could have bugs too, right? Which could be, yeah. so yeah. Uh, I think there's uh, probably there's ones that I look at something, I think what they say has to do with the snapshot, that's what is not accurate. I think it was just one time, but yeah, most of the time it's <laughs> really no, there's no way to verify it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you have the time to update that page with it? I'm sorry? Do you have time to update the driver page with like yeah, the disclaimer? I yeah, I'll, I'll, let me do that. Yeah, is that called PHS? Okay. okay, yeah. Awesome. I'll just write myself a to do. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, any other topics? All right, then we'll end for today. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.